Hello transport nerds and welcome on board Sydney Metro. If you've followed my channel for the past year or so, you'll know that I have been checking out the full fleet of trains which can be accessed via Opal Card. And today marks the last train on that list, the Alstom Metropolis, which operates on the Sydney Metro line. Ordinarily, services run between Chatswood and Talawong, but today was a little bit different. And I'll get to that later in the video. Metro was a radical departure for Sydney's rail network, which is characterised by its double deck trains with two doors down each side of the carriage. That double deck layout is great for seating, but for fast boarding and alighting times, subway or metro style trains are way more suitable, like the one we're checking out today. Think about how the world's most famous underground rail networks, such as London, New York, Tokyo, Paris and Shanghai all use single deck trains with lots of doors down each side. Our next station is Macquarie Park. If you are going to Macquarie Shopping Centre, remain on board until the next station. And while out of those listed, I've only caught the London Underground back in 2012 and 2018 and the Tokyo Metro in 2019, I can assure you that the other underground networks that I've also caught, namely the Singapore MRT and Toronto's subway network, follow the same basic design formula. Let's head up the front as we depart Chatswood. As you can see, I'm looking out the very front window and there is no driver's cab in sight. That's because this particular Alstom Metropolis was ordered in a driverless configuration. My first taste of driverless Alstom trains, however, was not here and was in Singapore in 2018. And it proves that it's a very impressive bit of kit. Sydney, however, continues to have customer staff on board trains and around the network which I think is a great opportunity to improve the customer experience, maintain employment levels, and ensure that customers can get where they need to go safely, quickly, and easily. Sydney's metro trains have a different interior and exterior styling compared with Singapore's, with these bright yellow handrails, blue and gray pattern seat fabric, and color-coded hand grips. And of course, the more recent edition of the quintessential sit here stickers. These design cues make the interior feel more light and airy, something which makes a big difference when travelling underground for an extended period of time. And whilst I really enjoyed travelling on the Singapore MRT back in 2018 and 2019, I was never a fan of their plastic bucket seats. Having also travelled considerable distances on the London Underground back in 2018, there have clearly been lessons learned in the more modern designs of subsurface rolling stock when compared to many earlier subway or underground trains. Better signage and technology, improved ventilation, and fitting trains with air conditioning as well as heating has made underground travel much more comfortable and easier over the years. Speaking of signage and tech, Sydney Metro is pretty impressive. The route is displayed on screens above the doors and is updated in real time. As you can see, this was a fairly early morning journey and unfortunately at that point, I was still without a coffee. From here, you can also see the seat fabric a little bit more closely, as well as the plethora of safety signage that adorns the door area. Anyway, let's have a listen to see what Metro Travel sounds like.
Ayurveda Foreign University. Doors will open on the right. Please stand back from the closing doors. Progress on a more widespread Sydney Metro isn't slowing down either, and wandering around the Sydney CBD, you will continue to see little clues of the future network, with wayfinding signs, including details of future stations, and lots of Sydney Metro work barriers around town. The only thing I can conclusively say at this time, though, is that the planning, progress, and end result will probably be quite a bit more impressive than another Australian Metro. But now that I've covered the main bits and pieces of the final piece in the puzzle of the Opal Accessible Rail Network, phew, that was a mouthful, it's time to talk about why today's services are a little different. And for that, I actually need to jump off the train. This is Kellyville Station, located toward the northern end of the Metro network, and despite it being quite a significant way out of the CBD, I was even able to get a decent coffee on a Saturday morning. Trains, however, were running on a shuttle-style arrangement between Bella Vista and Talawong, so journey times aren't quite as fast as usual. But by that time of the morning, I was just grateful to finally be caffeinated. Overall, I find Sydney Metro quite impressive and whilst the first section between Chatswood and Talawong doesn't offer a direct connection to the Sydney CBD, when stage two opens in 2024, the network will provide new connections in the CBD at Pitt Street and Barangaroo before making its way out towards Sydenham and then Bankstown. So whilst there's still a little while to go for the next stage of Metro to open for passenger service, the current trains and network are quite impressive and I am looking forward to seeing the next stages of Metro come online in the coming years. And as this video comes to an end, that rounds out the series of New South Wales train reviews. So a little while back, I did a poll on how I should best present the overall ranking. And as the results were pretty clear, over half of you actually reckon I should just do everything in one go. As to be expected, it will probably end up being my longest video I've ever produced. So editing might take a little bit of time. But when the time comes, and when launch day happens, have some popcorn and drinks ready. In the meantime, I have two messages for you. Number one, make sure that you subscribe to Talking Planning so that you don't go and miss it. The overlords at Google tell me that only one quarter of you have actually clicked that subscribe button, so go on. It's so much easier than typing Talking Planning into your search bar every time to just find a video. Number two, go and check out my Queensland Rail ranking if you haven't already for some inspiration of how this thing works. So, thanks for joining me, and I will see you again soon.